Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a ham and egg pie. This pie has two layers of puff pastry, top and bottom crust, and the inside we're going to have layers of ham and eggs. So the first thing we need to do is preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 200 degrees Celsius. Now, if you have a regular oven, by that I mean your uh, burner is on the bottom of the oven, have your oven rack in the bottom third, that way the bottom crust will cook thoroughly. And you will need a nine inch, uh, which is 23 centimeter pie plan. I like to use metal for this and you will need about one pound of puff pastry. Now, personally, I make this really easy. I'm just using that frozen uh, puff pastry that you buy. It comes in a, about a, I think it's about 17 ounce, which is about 490 gram package. It has two sheets, really easy. And you want to, of course, thaw your puff pastry. Now, they say you can do it on the counter, Personally, what I like to do is thaw it in the fridge overnight. I find it, it's a lot easier to work with than if you just thaw it at room temperature. It tends to be a little sticky. So what we're going to do is, of course, flour our counter because we don't want the, the pastry to stick. And let's take one sheet here. Like I said, you could use homemade if you are ambitious. This recipe came to me, it, I, it was given, I'm going to date myself here, uh, I must probably leave the mid 1980s so we're talking 30 years and really I like this recipe so much that my friend gave me, I have not really changed it much in all those years. So just to goes to show it is a popular uh, dish in my house. So now what we're going to do is just roll it out. So of course, flour your rolling pin, and then we just want to roll it to fit our pan. And always when you're working with pastry, pick it up and turn it, and if you have to, put a little more flour, because you don't want it sticking. Don't worry if it kind of falls apart, you can just kind of stick it back together there. And then just put your pan over just to make sure. You want some overlap. That looks pretty good. If you have a lot of flour, just take a pastry brush and just brush that flour off. And I'm going to see if, flip it over, same thing. Let's see how that is in our pan. And always don't, when you're putting pastry into a pan, don't pull it. You know, try to give it lots of, just gently place it in. Because if you pull it too much, then it will shrink during baking. So, so put that. So, as you can see, using commercially made puff pastry makes this so easy which we want sometimes. Okay, looks good. Just patch any rips or anything, just patch it up. And then, so what you'll need is about one half, a uh, half a pound, sorry, uh, 225 grams of ham. I'm using a black force. I like to cut it into smaller pieces and then when, it, the, when you finish and you cut your pie, it makes it a little easier. And so what we're going to do is, is put half of our ham, layer it on the bottom, like so. I mean, you could use more or less, depending on how much ham. I mean, really, just use this recipe as a guide. I mean, if you don't want to use ham, you could probably use another type, bacon or something else. But I have never changed this in 30 years. I have always made it the same way. My family would get mad if I changed this recipe. Okay. 
That looks good. And then what I like is a little green onion or chives, a couple tablespoons, but really to taste. I have to be just a nice, you know, layer on the bottom there. Looks good. And then a little salt. Again, to taste. Pepper. I like pepper, so I'm going to really give this a little heat, too. And then if you want more heat, you could put a little um, chili powder or cayenne pepper. Sure, we'll do that. And then I like to uh, put a couple tablespoons of par grated Parmesan cheese. Again, I'm not measuring here, about two tablespoons, but, you know, I just grate it until I get a a layer, just cover the ham up. And I like cheese, so I, I'm usually a little more generous than two tablespoons. And then what we're going to do is put seven eggs, seven large eggs. So you want to space them as even as you can. Don't worry if they break. In my family, some of us like the whole egg, and some of us actually, sometimes what I do is I take all the eggs and I kind of scramble them up. Especially when my kids were younger, they didn't like the yolks, so then that's what, what I would do is just kind of scramble the egg, and then they would eat the ham and egg pie. So just in case you have that problem in your family, that's one thing you can do. Okay, so. Now, if you have a little, one thing I came up with was why I have a little extra ham here. If you find, you know, it's, it's, the eggs don't space, what I do is I take the ham and I kind of use that. Kind of get them spaced a little better. It's one trick I kind of came up with. Otherwise, sometimes your eggs will all be clumped together. Okay, so if you want, you could put more pepper and all that, but I'm not going now. What I like to do is just, if I can find my fork, oh, here it is, is just that one broke, but just cook a little better that way. And then we're going to top with the rest of the ham. This makes a great breakfast brunch, you know, and I even make it for uh, Rick and I for supper with a tossed green salad, you know, because it's, it's so easy to make, you know, during the week if you don't feel like making anything too complicated. Yeah, that looks good. Extra, and there we go, that looks good. So I'll just put that aside, and then we'll roll out our second sheet. Whoa. Baxter was hoping that was a slice of ham. <laughs> okay, that's all ripped there, but don't worry about that. You can just kind of piece it back together. So again, flour your surface. And out. That looks about right. Crack there. Okay, and again, rid of that extra flour. And now, I mean, depending how, if you want a real thick outer crust of puff pastry, you can fold it under whatever you just, you know, kind of seal the edges here. OK. 
can get a little sticky. So just flour your hands as you're working with it. And I just like to take my fork. I mean, you can do any fancy thing you want around the edge. I'm just going to make it simple here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so then what we're going to do is just cut off. I just hold it and then just take my knife and cut around the edge. And you can keep the, uh, the pieces of puff pastry. We could make some cutouts to put on decorate the top or you could just keep it for uh, and freeze it again or make a tart some other kind of tart so press that down looks good so if you want what you can do is just take your pieces and you might want to roll it out or and then just take a little cutter and you can make little stars or whatever, and we can put that on top. So, but first, and I have done some already, just so you don't have to watch me. But what we're going to do is brush the top of our pastry with an egg wash. So take your last egg. So you will need eight eggs total and just a tablespoon of milk, cream, or even water, and just whisk that together. And then I'm just going to brush the top with the egg wash. It gives a nice color to the puff pastry as it bakes. And then if you did want to use the, do some cutouts, just put those right on top, however you want. If you're having company, you might want to do this. I don't tend to do it if it's just a weeknight meal or something. Okay, and then just Put a little egg wash on top of those. And then, just to finish this off, I'm going to grate some more uh, Parmesan cheese over the top. You don't have to, but I like the uh, taste of it. I like the look of it. So I'm, I would say, you know, maybe a quarter of a cup, 60 milliliters, but again, I just tend to cover the top. So now what we're going to do is bake it in our oven for about 30 minutes. Of course, everybody's oven is a little different, but what you want is it really nice and golden brown. Okay, our ham and egg pie is done. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So now what we want to do is just let it cool on a wire rack for at least 15 minutes. That way everything can set. And when we come back, we will cut and try a piece. Okay, so we're now ready to cut our pie. I let it, I think, cool about at least 20 minutes. That way everything sets up. You know, you could all, like I said, breakfast, lunch, dinner, it'd be nice to take if you're going on a picnic. I think it'd be, that would be just wrap it up and because it's nice, warm, room temperature, even cold. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Oh, there we go. As you can see, beautiful golden brown puff pastry. You got the egg, you've got the ham, green onion there. 
I've had this more times than I can count and I love it every time. Oh, you can just see that. So, try a little bit. Great as always. I mean, I just the combination of the ham, the egg, the puff pastry and the and the parmesan cheese is wonderful. Try it. I mean, your family will love it. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Thank you.